Hey everyone, Carlos Bastardo with American Insurance Brokers, powered by Equus Financial. Today I'm going to show you how to run an illustration, an IUL illustration with FNG Life. And for those of you wondering how you can supplement your retirement income tax free, well, guess what? This is going to show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. So for you agents that are running a quote out there, you're going to simply log into FNG. You're going to go to the sales link, click on illustrations, and you're going to go here to website. I always like to create my online. It's going to save the file for you. You don't have to worry about downloading anything or putting files anywhere. Once that pops up, you're going to click on start new case. And by the way, if you have an existing case or need to access applications, you can click on the view my cases. So click on new case. Going to go ahead and enter the name. So we're just going to say James Bond. And we're going to say a young James Bond. So we'll just say 0101 1976. We'll look at a eh, 1980. We're going to look at a 41 year old male. And we're going to assume generally healthy, non tobacco. You're going to go ahead and select the state. So we'll just go ahead and say Indiana. And you're going to select the product. And you're going to want to pick Next Universal Life, Find Available Products. And you want the F and G Path Setter. Paths on Select. All right, and then when you get to the next page, you've got the details here. You've got the underwriting. Now, if you've got somebody that has some underwriting, you know, questions or discrepancies, then you can go ahead and click on the underwriting guide and that will give you the details of how to rate somebody or what's unacceptable. Okay, so all the magic is done right here where it says solve. So what we're gonna figure out because this 41 year old male is already maxing out his IRA. I told him, hey, don't throw any more in than what they're giving you, matching you, because number one, you could risk losing that money. Number two, you're going to get taxed on it when you start taking that money out and when it, uh, when it comes time to take that money out. However, using this Index Universal Life, if we go ahead and select Max Accumulation and Income, that's going to allow us to have the most amount, the highest funded policy we can. So we're gonna push the life insurance value down. So we're not trying to buy as much life insurance as we can. We're trying to buy the minimum amount we can to overfund the policy so that it can gain value quickly over time. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and figure for face amount. And we're gonna go ahead and put in our annual or monthly. So let's go ahead and say monthly. Now let's say the gentleman wants to put aside $1,000 a month. So I have an extra $1,000 a month that I can go ahead and put aside into something that's going to sit there, grow. I never have to worry about losing it. And then eventually I can start taking out this money tax-free. Okay. Now this might scare somebody and they may say, well, I'm putting this money away and do I have access to it? Yes, you absolutely do. And I'm gonna show you that in the illustration here shortly. So for right now, we're gonna set this up at $1,000 a month, which will translate to 12,000 a year, as you'll see. Now there's a very important button. Well, I'll get to that here in a second. Now we're not gonna pay all the way to year 100. So let's say this 41 year old wants to work until they're age 66. So we're gonna pay premiums to age. You're gonna put an A for age, 66 and then the premiums stop, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and figure out at age 67, they start taking withdrawals from their policy. What's the maximum amount of money they can take for 20 years, okay? Now, 25 years may not sound like a lot, but that's gonna take them to age 92, all right? So 
most folks are going to want to spend the majority of their money while they're young enough to be able to enjoy it, right? So that's what this income is designed for. So we're going to figure out for 20 years how much money they can pull out. Last but not least, this is very important. We want to use this button down here. This is 7702 rates effective January 21st. This is the new rules that went into effect for um, our tax, our tax code 7702, which allows individuals to invest more money into their policy now as before, as what they used to in the past. So we're gonna make sure that's selected. We're gonna click on okay. So now we have everything set so far. So here is another option that we can look at. This is called option A, crediting method. And then you have what's called option B. Now option B is going to build more aggressively because it's gonna have less life insurance in the beginning and then more money going in and then it starts to flip flop over time. So if you wanna be aggressive in building money quickly, you can do that. You can set what's called an option B to option A, right? So if we were gonna do that, we can go B to A and then we can specify what year. In this case, we're gonna go age 66 because that's when they stop putting into their policy. So we're gonna flip it at that time and put them back to an option A. Okay, so that's a strategy that you can use to get more money in there quickly, but it's gonna be a lot less target premium going in. Okay, so for now, let's just go ahead and stick with an option A and leave it level across the board. We're not gonna to touch that, that's gonna change. We're not gonna check that. Um, we're gonna leave the payment mode monthly, specified, they're not gonna to touch any of that stuff, pay premiums to age 66, everything else stays the same. All right, and then the other thing, last thing we're gonna look at is the crediting method. So what I like to do is I like to go in thirds, right? So I'll put 34 here because the S&P annual point-to-point 100% participation is currently due in 7.47%. And then I'll do the S&P monthly point-to-point, -point, so 33. And then the trail, Barclay Trailblazers is performing at 716 as well. So we can do 33 there, right? So you can do it in thirds so you have it diversified. But some of you might be saying, well, if it's in S&P here and S&P there, it's not really diversified. Okay, so let's zero that out. Let's do 50% in the S&P and 50% in the Barclay Trailblazers. And that's going to give us a good combined average rate of about 7.31% interest. Okay, try to get that from the bank today. All right, everything else stays the same. You can add writers on here, of course, right? But we're looking to create income. So I'm going to leave pretty much everything vanilla. And then we're going to go ahead and look at view and print illustration. Now, this is where all the magic happens. And if you're one who's looking at investing into an IUL for a supplemental tax-free income stream, then this is where it's going to get a little bit more exciting for you. All right, so here we go. The illustration is up. And a couple of things. So this is the, again, F&G path setter. It is the uh, basically designed for wealth transfer, cash value accumulation, living benefits, and supplemental writers. Yep, some of this stuff here will go down to the important things. <clears throat> so basically, the guideline level premium for this illustration is twelve thousand. That's for the year. The guideline single premium for this illustration is one seventy nine eight twenty. So what that means is somebody can actually contribute more to this policy and pay it up. They can actually pay it up. So, but I don't recommend anything sooner than seven years. So if they wanted to actually pay this policy up in seven years, 179,820 divided by seven years, they could pay in $25,688 a year for seven years and then they're done. 
right? So they can basically fund this over a seven year period, be done with it, never have to put another dime into it. And it's gonna accumulate even faster because of compound interest. But we can't just dump 179 into this policy, right? It has to be done over time, usually five to seven years because of the IRS tax, roads, uh, tax codes, rules and regulations. So the death benefit, is valued at 653,000. That's how much life insurance does this individual is gonna get for $1,000 a month. Again, I know we can do way better than that if we're just strictly shopping for life insurance, but that's not the point, right? We're gonna create income with this. So now you have to look at it as your investment is protected by life insurance if you die too soon. So let's say you made a $1,000 payment and you die tomorrow, God forbid, it's going to pay $653,000 to your beneficiary. That's one heck of a rate of return. Okay. Up here, get to things, cost of insurance, riders. All right, so when we talk about living benefits, that's important. So these benefits do have the living benefit riders, such as critical illness terminal illness and chronic illness. So if somebody were to get really sick or really ill and they potentially qualify, then they can get an advance on their life insurance benefit, not the cash value. It would actually come from the life insurance benefit amount. They can use that money to help during their time of need. So for any type of critical illnesses, heart attack, stroke, cancer, those types of things, if they told they have less than 18 months to live, they can access up to a million chronic illness up to 25% per year. Okay, so those are important benefits that are included. All right, so now we get down here to the numbers. And a couple of things I wanna point out here because it'll seem like fuzzy math initially, and maybe it won't seem like it's a good thing for the client, but you have to understand this is a time sensitive product. We're looking at this for the long run, right? You have to be invested at least 10 years in an IUL in order for it to make sense because these are, these are cost loaded up front. So since the insurance companies, you know, they're gonna to have to pay out all this money in the future, you know, their fees and charges are, are initially within the first 10 years, right? So we'll, we'll see some growth, but let's look at it. At the end of 10 years, a 41 year old paid in $120,000 into their policy. The cash value is somewhere between if it only performs at half at 4.75%, the account value would be 103,000. Surrender value, this is how much we can take out of it, is worth 98. So if we look at the math here, we say, hmm, well, that's not a very good deal, right? Okay, we'll hang in there. Now let's look at what it's currently performing at, which is 7.32%. And if that's the case, then we're gonna be somewhere right at around 112,000 if we wanted to cash the policy out, okay? So you put in 120 and you're able to take out 112. Doesn't sound like a great deal, Mr. Insurance Man. Why would I do this? Because this is not short-term. This is a long-term play. Bear with me, okay? We're gonna jump ahead another 20 years. Now look what happens. Once our cost have been eliminated for the most part. We still have our cost of insurance, but other fees have been eliminated. Now we're gonna look at the next 20 years. So now this 41 year old is 61. They're getting closer to retirement. They paid in $240,000 into their policy. Now their cash value is somewhere between 302 to $400,000. Well, wait a minute, we did, we're almost double, right? So again, just allow this thing to marinate a little bit over time is going to give you a, a great return based on future time. Now, here's the other thing I want any, everybody to understand. This also allows you to become your own banker. So let's say here in year 13, when this gentleman's age 54, and Let's say all of a sudden his daughter decides she wants to get married and he's got to cough up $25,000. Well, he doesn't want to dig deep into his nest egg. He doesn't want to liquidate any of his stock or borrow against his IRA. Well, if he's got $177,000 of money sitting here, 
he can take $25,000 out, no problem, use that money and pay himself back if he chooses to. If he doesn't, then it's just going to come out of the life insurance benefit when he passes. Now, of course, it is going to deplete the cash value by $25,000. So, you know, it's going to have to build back up again. But it allows you to have access to this money whenever you need it. And there's no penalties like an IRA or a 401k. You don't have to take penalties or pay um, taxes or IRS 10% uh, penalties. Because again, this is non-taxable money anytime. All right. So now let's fast forward. And this 41-year-old male didn't die early, didn't suffer a chronic event or catastrophic event, made it to age 66 and retires. So by the age 66, as you can see, he invested $300,000 into his plan, his policy. Now, this is all after-tax money. What is the value? Well, now the value is somewhere between $449,000 and $652,000. Again, it just depends on what the interest rate averaged over time. So if I want to be an optimist and say it's always performed between 6 and 7%, so it's going to be closer to the 650 side, right? Now, this gentleman decides to pull the trigger and starts withdrawing annual income starting on age 68. Based on the amount of money that's in the account and us wanting it to last at least 25 years, that's going to give this gentleman an extra income annually of $72,000 above and beyond their IRAs or other 401ks that, by the way, they have to pay taxes on. This here is tax-free money. Now, I know what some of you are saying. It can't be tax-free. There's no way the IRS would allow this. There's got to be a catch. No, it is tax-free. It is an IRS provision. It's Rule 7702. You can look up the tax code. As long as things are done right and it's, it's funded properly over time, it is tax-free distribution because you're actually taking policy loans. It's not considered income. So now let's look at the math. Total WAP paid in was $300,000. He started withdrawing $72,000 at age 68. By age 71, he already withdrew $291,000 in income tax-free. That's almost what he paid in over that whole 25, 26-year period, right? Let's keep going. So the income continues year after year after year after year. Now this gentleman is 40, I'm sorry, 81 years old. Made it to age 81. He's been withdrawing this income the whole time, only paid in $300,000 and already at, by age 81, made, uh, withdrew over $1 million in tax-free income, folks. Tax-free income. All right. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, what if he didn't make it to 81? What if he died at age 74? Great question. He took all that income to that point. But if you look over here in the right column, he still has a life insurance benefit of $676,000. So he collected all that money, more than what he paid in, and then he died. And now his wife and or family gets $676,000 tax-free lump sum money. Now I ask you this, how is this not one of the greatest investment opportunities that are out there in America today that allows you to have a plan that's guaranteed never to lose money due to down markets. It's going to earn an average interest rate of five to 7% on average each year. And it's going to provide you an income stream or a bank to loan from, to loan yourself from, in the event that you ever need access to that money. Let's finish this whole thing out. Let's say he made it all the way to 91. God bless him. Paid in 300000 collected $1,747,000 in income, and then died a happy life at age 91. And by the way, his family still got a death benefit 
of $214,000. You show me an IRA or a 401k plan that can do everything we're talking about, and especially for it being tax-free, and I will be amazed because guess what? This is one of the best, and I don't even want to call it a hidden secret. This is one of the best plans that a lot of people don't know about. And this is called an indexed universal life. Okay. So if you're interested in finding out more and how this is going to work for you, even if you're older than 41, we can still put some plans in place. You know, we can still hit some certain targets and goals. Then PM me, get back to me. Um, and I'll be happy to go over this personal, uh, do personalized quote and illustration with you. Thank you very much. Have a great day and God bless.